In this video, we're going to look at how we can make our very own actions in Raya Pro. I've created six buttons where you can record any Photoshop function and save it in the panel. I'm also going to show you how you can automatically add watermarks to your image. Now to record an action, we need to go to the Actions folder. And in the previous setup video, I showed you how to install the actions into your Actions panel. So if we open up your action, and let's choose your action one, and we press record, we can do anything in Photoshop and it will record our steps. So for example, I'm going to open up a curves layer, and a desaturation layer, and then I'm going to open up the Actions dialog again and just press stop. And now we've recorded these two steps and we can replay them at any time. So if we delete them and go to Raya Pro, since we recorded the actions in the Your Action 1 option, we can now press Your Action 1 and it will repeat those exact steps for us. So now we've recorded our very own action. Some people may choose to use different image sizes than the ones here when preparing their images for the web. If that's your case, I'm going to show you the exact process for preparing your image for the web so that you can have a sharp image with the ideal color profile and the exact image size you want. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to record this in your action too. So we'll go to our actions folder and open up actions too. Now before we press record, I'm just going to create a levels adjustment layer and that will just help us flatten our layers later on, which is very important. So going back to the actions layer, I'm going to press record. I'm going to go to image, duplicate, and we're going to call this sharp and press OK. Now we're going to go to layer and flatten image. Next we'll go to image and image size. Now we're not going to put our image size into here just yet. First we have to do some calculations. We have to go into our calculator and choose our ideal image size, let's say 1850 pixels wide. Now we multiply this number by 1.67 and this is the number 3089 that we're going to put into our resizing option. So we'll choose 3089. Next we'll go to by cubic smooth and press OK and you'll see that the image has resized. Next we'll go to filter, sharpen and sharp and just press that once. Then we'll press Ctrl and J to duplicate the layer and bring the opacity down to 50%. Finally we're going to go to image, image size and this time choose our ideal image size which was 1850 and press OK. Now we should be left with an extremely sharp image and we can increase the opacity of this layer if you want it to be even sharper. The final step is to convert the color profile of this image and we do that by going to edit, convert to profile and we'll choose sRGB and just press OK. Now our image is ready for the web. So with this new action, we simply press stop and we've recorded our sharpening action. So let's see it in action. We'll open up Raya Pro and we'll go down to your action too and press it. And just like that, we now have a sharp image which is perfectly prepared for the web. Now I'm going to show you how to add a watermark to your image. Let's say we have a watermark in front of us. Firstly, we have to save our watermark in a convenient directory. For now, I'm just going to put it in desktop and call it watermark and we'll save it as a PSD file and press OK. Next we need to record the action so we'll open up our actions dialog and we'll click on watermark. Now we'll press record and we'll go to file and place. In newer versions of Photoshop this will say place embedded so choose place and I'm at my desktop already so if I type in watermark PSD and press place you'll see my watermark just there. Now I can lock the layers and bring the size all the way down until I'm happy with it and press OK. Next we have to press Ctrl and A or Command and A on a Mac to select everything. Then we go to layer, align layers to selection. Now if you like your watermark at the top you'll choose top edges but if you like it to the bottom, you'll choose bottom edges. 
and you'll see the watermark goes to the bottom. Next, we'll go to layer again and back to align layers to selection and choose left edge. And now we can stop our action. And now we've recorded our watermark action. So if we delete it and open up Raya Pro, I'm going to deselect this selection and press add watermark. And there we go. And of course, if we want to change the watermark in any way, we can just move it in and out, no problem at all.